last week on The Pulse. You know, this off week, uh, we, we took time to really concentrate on us. From now on, we're going to do everything right. You feel me? Sure. Hey, today, attack this practice. It's fun to watch these guys take this attitude on of, you know, who they want to be in the future for Texas A&M. Texas A&M is readying to honor its past. They're equipping themselves to look vintage. Every detail matters. All the way down to a T. Um, and so we started working on it about between 10 and 11 months ago. And then uh, really Adidas came in, presented an idea to us. Um, and then off of that, just kind of came into the 39 throwback. Um, then we've kind of been going back and forth ever since just to, to what's culminating on the field from the, for the ULM game. This really isn't something that happens overnight. It plays out over the course of almost a year. And then uh, within the last probably six months of it, finalizing details and then really focusing on the helmet uh, is kind of the crown jewel of the whole thing. It, it, it's, it's unique in that we, we, we've wanted to do a throwback helmet to, um, like this, to this magnitude, and there's just a lot of detail that goes into it. You know, we really saw an opportunity to do something special in my mind, and that's where we challenged everybody involved with the project um, to really try to make this like the most uh, authentic and really the best throwback that's ever been done, particularly on the helmet. Um, I feel like you look at those helmets and you can see that added care, the added, the little extras that uh, were put into the helmet. Oh, and it's, um, you know, it's something I think that everybody, all of us here in the equipment room, uh, the guys at Riddell, the guys at Hydrographics and Adidas, that once the team gets out on the field, will very be, be really proud of. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented by AT&T, building you a better network. Two weeks of rugged preparation for the resumption of game action is almost at a close. Two days before kicking off against Louisiana Monroe, the Aggies go through the final paces. You guys need to put what you want on tape starting tomorrow. Okay, no matter what, who cares what people say, who cares what I care about is how you play. How you play, individually and as a team. How are you gonna approach this thing, all right? All right? We need some leadership out of the older guys. We need everybody else to play hard. Okay, everybody good with that? Yes, sir. Okay. Not just to 
everybody else, which I don't care about, but to the people in this room, about the guys you hang out with, about who you are, about what you want to be, about what, how you want to be looked at. Okay? And the only people that can do anything about that is who? Is you. That's it. Regardless of opponent, regardless of what happens, it's about us and it's about you. Our expectations are still where they really were. They're going to be there forever. And you guys are responsible for it. We're going to hold you to it today. Everybody good with that? Right. Game day and the start of the final month of the season. At kickoff, A&M moves forward, eager to leave the last few weeks far behind. They had an off week last week, but during that off week, they have decided to make a change at quarterback. Yeah. Kyle Allen, true freshman, will get the start. He is extremely talented, Dave, but this is a different beast when you step up to this level of competition. First play, a little toss to Brandon Williams, gets the corner on a first down. Wide open on the far side, Speedy Doyle, his 32nd catch of the year, Trey Caldwell with the stop, but that's 12 more yards. Allen slides out of the pocket. He's to the 20 and has the first down. Handed off to James White, breaks a tackle, he's inside the five, falling close to the goal line. He'll be down inches away. Brandon Williams, your tailback. He'll get that handoff. Working left side and flips into the end zone. Touchdown, his third of the year. Different look for Texas A&M this week with a true freshman quarterback. Pretty flawless. 13 plays, no penalties on that drive, and a one-yard touchdown, and Texas A&M leads it 7 to nothing. That's mine, dude. Kyle Allen got the ball rolling. Several members of his freshman class followed closely behind. In their throwbacks, a youth movement was on. Mark Schneider started two true freshmen at linebacker today. Here's a true freshman, Garrett. That's probably the easiest sack he's had all season. Well, he just set the SEC freshman sack record passing to Davion Clowney's mark. He now has eight and a half. Clowney had eight. Hey, so all you're saying is that I helped you sack him. You know what that is? That's hat. <laughs> Pocket collapses, and down goes Pete Thomas. This defense trying to slow down this ULM club. And that ball's picked off. That's how you slow him down. With the interception, Armani Watts, the true freshman. Keep coming, guys. Keep coming. Let's go. Keep coming. And Jared Johnson said, not on my watch. Yeah, a man. loss of four. Thomas, nowhere to go. Yeah, he knew you were going to get yeah. heat on this end of the field on third down. Speedy Noyle will scoop it up at midfield. Speedy showing some shifty moves. It must be a. Speedy to the 20. And he is down to the 12 yard line. Carson working the right side. ULM stretching it out, but they can't make the tackle. Carson. Touchdown. What a run from the big fella. Go to the end zone with it. Speedy Noyle. Touchdown, and in. Off the deflection. Nice job of recognizing you had a free play. Go to your speedster, and boy, it just fell right in there, right into the hands of Speedy Noyle. Solid first half of football for Texas A&M. This segment of The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is brought to you by Bud Light, the perfect beer when you're up for whatever. Defense got a little bend but don't break to them. Uh, how, what do they need to do in the second half? Well, we, we just got get, get off the field on third down, eliminate big plays. And, and uh, um, you know, we got a bunch of young guys out there playing hard, and that's what we want to see. Kevin Sumlin's offenses usually grab the headlines, but on this Saturday, it's the defense that will have to put in the dirty work in order to win. Thomas Wallace fake the handoff to Donald. Probably should have given it to him. Donnie Bags. Four sacks today by the Aggie defense. 
third down. And now decides to run. After looking to his right will be Thomas and tackle behind the line back at the 38-yard line. Fourth down coming up. Tyler Kane dropped by Donovan Wilson. Another outstanding young player. A loss of one. The true freshman. Here's the third down snap. Out of the pocket. Yes. Sacked back inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. Miles Garrett, his second sack today. Will give him nine and a half now for the year. Holding the freshman record for sacks in the SEC. This time working right up the middle. Miles Garrett comes clean. Makes a clean tackle. And forces ULM to go into punt formation. We're trying to stretch it out. Nothing doing there. Just play there. Another true freshman, Alaka, getting into the action. Batted down. Tommy Sanders. Well, the linemen all went to cut block, but they forgot to get the edge, and Sanders jumps in the air. And Thomas will throw it again. He'll just try to get this one out of play, and he does so. Pressure came from Alonzo Williams. Thomas hit as he throws. Incomplete. Right there, nice pass deflection by Harris on the back end. Let's finish! 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 Let's go! As the third quarter comes to a close, UL Monroe won't go away. It's late in the fourth quarter. The Aggies' lead is less than a touchdown. The offense begins to churn up ground and clock, then leaves it to the defense one last time. Fourth quarter, 21 to 16. We're on the ground again. There's a nice hole there, and uh, bouncing that out for a first first down of the second half will be Trey Carson. And the handoff, that's going to be close. Maybe a first down. Second ever hey, will get it. the first down to the 45-yard line. Ground game working, though. Uh, they're doing nothing but work in the middle, and that's good. They're able to pick up chunks of three, four, five yards at a time. So this will be an interesting call for the Aggies. Do they go for the first down, or do they use the Drew Kayser, uh Great punting weapon to pin Louisiana Monroe, hopefully back deep inside their own territory. Kayser, fair catch called for, and now ULM will be 89 yards away. No timeouts, 157 to play. Here's the third down play, and that just bounced in in front of the intended receiver at about the line of scrimmage on the far sideline. Miles Garrett put some pressure on Pete Thomas. Fourth and four, minute 28 left. Ags lead, throwing, and an incomplete ball. Threw it behind the receiver. Did Pete Thomas. This segment of The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is brought to you by Pepsi. Now is what we make it. Grab a Pepsi and some friends and get out there and live it. It's time to live for now. We had some young guys step in there and, and play critical, critical moments for us today and make big plays, and, and uh, we're going to have to have that going down the stretch. There's no guarantees when you throw that many different faces out there, is there? No, there's not any guarantees. You know, those young guys have been practicing well. We, we took advantage of the bye week to 
have guys compete. We rewarded them by giving them a chance to play and a bunch of them a chance to start. It was a great experience for those guys and a lot of young guys who, and, and new faces who haven't played, but to play uh, an entire ball game like that, uh, I think it's gonna pay dividends for us down the road. Kyle Allen got his first test as a starter. What was the final assessment? Kyle went through a, uh, a learning curve at times, and, that, and that's what you expect of first, you know, first year quarterbacks. And, and uh, he went out there, there were some things and some times where I wanted him to hand the ball off and he threw it. And there's times where he threw it and we wanted him to hand it off. But you know, that's part of the, the amount of freedom that we give these quarterbacks. And you know, overall, I thought he managed it pretty good. Uh, still a lot, uh, a lot to learn from. He had a lot of good learning experiences. So you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, working with him throughout practice and, and just keep moving forward and keep building that confidence with him. We didn't have any um, operational penalties, you know, those types of situations that happen with a new quarterback. There's a lot of things that happen in that football game that, that uh, we're, we're kind of learning on the job and, and dealing with pressure and, uh, and, and, and making the right decisions at the right time. So I look for that to get better and improve week to week. Allen wasn't the only freshman that had to step up. The linebacking core was wearing the same shoes. Josh Walker drew the start front and center. Flew around, played physical for the most part. Certainly wasn't perfect, but I uh, thought he gave us a, a, a shot of adrenaline there uh, at the middle linebacker position. As did Ataro Alaka on the outside. I thought Ataro did, did pretty good. The thing with him is, is we, we moved him to the, to the weak side a few weeks ago, so he's basically learning uh, a new position on the fly. Nothing better than getting out there in a game environment and learning on the run. So, again, I, I think looking at big picture, uh, I thought both guys uh, did a pretty good job for us. This exam is in the books. They only get harder from here on out. The margin for error is paper thin. A flat-out test awaits on the plains of Auburn next week. because of last week. We needed a win. We needed a win and we got a win. All right, but by the looks on your face, hey, don't worry about that. Let's worry about us next week. Okay, the same thing that brought you here today, all right, is the same thing that's gonna get you through the rest of the season. Play in close games, get used to it. Okay, play for each other. More people are playing than ever on this team. You gotta know what you're doing. We gotta be able to count on you. We had a bunch of guys play today. Some guys that three weeks ago weren't even on the field. Okay? That's going to continue to happen. Doing all the stuff that you believe in. Aggieland, we see it top season. I do it for the fam, that's the reason. All maroon, all my blood, I'm bleeding.